Creativity is an addiction. It's got you by the roots. It's got you by your future. It owns every bit of you. And so many times we try to run away from it only to be spoiled children. I coulda, shoulda, woulda. Why didn't I? Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I am a poet. One that just happens to write in a forest. In 2015, I stepped into a very special collection of trees at the Billy Graham Library right here in Charlotte, North Carolina. While there, I did nothing but write. But they were never my words. I always believed they were the lyrics from Billy's Forest. Well, nearly two years later, God spoke directly into my heart. He said it was time to grow beyond the library, to write within other collections of trees, mainly my own forest right here in South Charlotte, North Carolina. You see, in every place that I have written, the spirit of Billy's lyrics vibrate the purpose and plan that God has put into play. I never know what I'm going to write about when I enter any forest, which gives us plenty of time to talk about it in the end. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest. Chapter number 306, March 12th, 2022. The morning started out with a huge cold front, very strong winds inside the forest, thunder that reminded me of war. By 7.30 a.m., nothing but sunshine, and a single red cardinal chirping away near the ground. The soil still bathed in the heavy downpour, the petals from flowering trees thrown about, and yet that bright red is still in the air from that cardinal, placed deep inside my soul. With so much wrong in the world, we must remind ourselves of what is right, to not just focus on the headlines, but to be present in our own personal lives by being grateful for something as simple as a bright red cardinal after a really bad spring rain. See, God is constantly sharing. These blessings that we hold on to are treated like spam mail. A lot of people just throw them away. Into the trash it goes. And then we go back to complaining about life. Taking note of what's around you is the storyteller. Learning to be aware of these things helps the heart find its peace. If all you think about is wrong, it's going to spoil your song. Look for the positive light. I live in one every day. This forest is knocking on my door each morning that I wake up. It's going, hey, hey, Mr. Writer, Mr. Writer, Mr. Writer. Come on, come on, come on. Right, 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 right. I, I was just in a conversation with actor Sam J. Jones and, and, and Michael Lombardi, two incredible actors. And one of the things that we talked about was the power of the forest, nature, the things that are around us, the little things that are endlessly speaking to us. But like I said, so many times we take what's been given to us and we treat it like spam mail. And then we wonder why we can't find a great day. It's a choice. In fact, Sam J. Jones and I talked about that. He goes, what is the choice? He says, it's sitting right there. You don't even have to make a choice. It's there. Just do it. Grab it. Enjoy the ride. Sure, it may not turn out to be what exactly what you want. In fact, it was Michael Lombardi that said that about his brand new movie. He says, am I doing the movie the way I want to? Because I fell in love with the script, but the script has changed so much. But am I still loving the movie? I think that's the way life is, too, is that we sit there and we think this is who I want to be. But when you get there, you didn't become. See, I, I wanted to be that radio jock in Los Angeles. I wanted to be right there like Rick D's and, and to do the things that those jocks were doing. It didn't happen, but it didn't stop me either. In 1987, I was up to replace Casey Kasem on American Top 40. Shadow Stevens got it, but it didn't stop me. And that's all I've ever wanted to share with people is that you may not get what you want, but the storyline and the storytellers are always there to say, hey, look, that bright red cardinal is a positive. Build upon that. It's always around us. Quit taking the message that nature is sharing and treating it like spam. I'm Errol. And these aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest.